Hey guys, Puneet here. Let's check out the trending tech news of this week. So the first update is coming from Hyundai's uh, Tiger vehicle that rolls smoothly, walks around uh, obstacles. So nowadays vehicle can warn us of potential collisions, uh, they can park themselves and can change the lanes. At times it seems like there's not much room for improvement, but then someone then comes along and gets a leg up on the competition. Uh, the Tiger robot is equipped with the extendable uh, omnidirectional wheel, a structure that can extend into legs that enable them to bypass obstacles such as small walls logs or a potholes. The robot drives like an all-wheel vehicle in a normal mode but on a rocky terrain the wheel uh, structure transfer into large limbs, the wheel lock and a multi-joint uh, uh, lag aided by 28 motors and uh, sensors can maneuver around the obstruction. Hyundai isn't limiting its um, sight solely on uh, our travel. It sees Tiger as being uh, capable of accessory for uh, interplanetary missions. The next update is from a wearable device that turns the body into a battery. So researchers at Colorado University Boulder have developed a new low-cost wearable device that transfers the human body into a biological battery. The device that is capable of charging up uh, using heat from the human body, the devices can generate about one volt of energy for every square centimeter of skin space. Um, it's less voltage uh, per area than what most existing batteries provide, but still enough to power electronics like watches or a fitness tracker or mostly those uh, IoT devices. The next update is coming from Mimo C1, the world's first two-in-one cargo e-scooter launched on Indiegogo. Uh, so electric scooters are gradually gaining interest as part of the daily commute of some persons in major cities around the world, but uh, using an electric scooter usually comes within its limitations, especially if you want to lower some um, uh, grocery bags. A uh, startup from Singapore, Mimo, has launched a product that looks to take care of the challenge. The scooter has a single cruising speed of 15 to 25 kilometers per hour and the e-scooter can also go for a 25 kilometer um, range. This scooter can be great for those who live in urban areas and don't own a car. It could be handy to go on a grocery shopping tour or could be a solution for a local delivery company. So the next update is from uh, NASA. Uh, they will use the Fitbits to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 to astronauts and employees. NASA is offering a Fitbit device and Fitbit's ready-to-work solution to help employees performing mission-critical uh, work um, and make more informed decisions about uh, going to work on-site during the COVID-19 pandemic. As a part of the pilot program, 1,000 NASA employees performing mission-critical work uh, at six locations in the United States will receive Fitbit 4 device and access to uh, Fitbit's ready-to-work uh, daily check-ins. And This includes 150 astronaut and NASA employees critical to future space missions uh, who will use the Fitbit solution as a part of NASA Health Stabilization Program. So the next update is Apple developing a new terahertz radiation sensor. The Apple Watch can be great for health. At present, it allows you to monitor your uh, sleep, warn you if it detects any irregular heart rate or check your blood oxygen level, and even remind you to wash your hands. But now a series of patents shows that Apple could be working on a new terahertz sensor for non-invasive glucose monitoring. Apple adds that this tech might go beyond the borders of non-invasive glucose monitoring. It says that absorption spectroscopy will play a vital role in overall health, including detecting skin cancer or disorders in the future. So the last update is on a webcam app Adore Cram uh, that left thousands of users' account exposed online. Adore Cam Web Cam app installed by thousands of users left an exposed database packed with user data on the internet without a password. It's an app for viewing and controlling several webcam models, including Z40 and uh, Umino cameras. The database contains about 124 million rows of data for several thousands of users, including the live details about the webcam, such as the location. Uh, the name of the Wi-Fi uh, network that the camera is connected to and information about the webcam owner such as their uh, email addresses. So if you're using the app, um, please change your password and it might be worthwhile checking with the company support team as well. So guys, that's all the update for this week. If you like this video and want to get notified for more tech news and reviews, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. See you next time.